Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Tactical Leader. Today is a solo cast with just me chopping it up about Ben Albert's episode from this past Monday and a little bit of insights about what's coming for Tactical Friday. Before we dive into it, I want to remind everybody this show is brought to you by Nightly Productions. If you're ready to discover, embrace, and share your voice all through podcasting, head over to nightly.productions. Find out how we can help you not only get your brand out there, become more aware with your brand, but also help you create tactical content that delivers. Again, that's nightly.productions. The episode with Ben was a fun one. Um, it, it's interesting talking about the power of prospecting and networking, the power of podcasting. Um, I kind of want to highlight an aspect of how Ben was able to go back, going on my show, kind of give context around that um, and, and really give him a shout out attached to what's impressive about the efforts he's making and what a lot of people don't recognize in this podcasting world and how powerful a podcast can be. Um, there, there's a capacity that I don't really search for podcast guests anymore. Um, this has been kind of tied in. I, I teach this aspect of things now with podcasts of how to integrate and implement a podcast into um, your sales and marketing funnels as a whole. That's the whole discover, embrace, share your voice piece of thing, right? Um, what's fascinating is LinkedIn is my lead platform. And this just kind of goes to the power of networking and, and taking a shot. Um, putting yourself out there and how important that can really be for you where I, I don't really search for guests at this point for the show. Um, I turned down a lot of guests, um, a lot of people, um, you know, Gina Wickman coming on the show here recently. Um, I've had Brad Lee, Michael Coles. I mean, I've had some, some monster names, um, some, you know, nine figure business owners, some really impressive folks. And, um, not to be uh, necessarily any kind of way about it, but it's one of those, you know, seeking that higher level guest, really focusing on that, not taking away from Ben by any means, but usually if somebody randomly reaches out, I get a lot of inquiries about coming on the show. And um, a lot of people just don't necessarily have uh, a story I, I want to be, be able to feature or that I'm interested in. One thing that makes Joe Rogan's podcast so fascinating is that he talks to really interesting and fascinating people. And after, Lordy, this might be around episode 350, um, you know, I, I, I'm looking for those interesting guests that bring value, bring a different perspective um, and stand out in a different way. And what Ben did, Ben deemed me through LinkedIn. He, he did exactly the formula that I teach people um, and that my mentor taught me. And it was fascinating. Um, I had to give him props for it and brought him on the show. And, um, it's fascinating to me because he, he dimmed me on LinkedIn, um, mentioned a mutual connection, Brian Bogert, um, a really good buddy of mine. We've been on stage together. We've on podcasts together. Just a great dude overall. Um, and then he specifically referenced Brad Lee um, in that podcast. And not just like, and, and it's funny, some people do a surface level dive, right? They'd be like, oh, yeah, so you had Brad Lee on your show. So cool. What's he like? but they never go and listen to the episode. They never actually do research about like what the conversation was. They don't get a reference point. And what, what's really interesting about networking in this day and age is that Ben did the research, found the episode, listened to the episode. And Brad was, man, he was way back. I mean, he was 170, episode 170 or something like that. Um, so he's way back. And he took the time to research all of that, took the time to see who's been on my show, do research on, on who I've talked to, bring interesting facts forward. Hey, Zach, you talked about this, this, and this. Love it. I'd love the opportunity to discuss this aspect on your show. Really impressed with what you're doing, so on and so forth. It's the exact, exact same thing I do if I go towards a Gina Wickman or Bradley. That's the exact same thing I, I do with them to get them on my show. And, and really highlight them. Like, hey, Gino, you know, when I talked to Gino is through LinkedIn. Um, hey, Gino, I loved traction. I loved, EO, I love EOS as a whole. You know, I know you just launched another book with eLeap, this, this, and this. And I referenced different aspects about eLeap that I wanted to talk to him about very specifically. Um, he ate it up, loved it. You know, obviously it shows you did the research because you actually, the person matters to you, right? And I think that's a big piece that people don't recognize I mean, I had this conversation um, a couple of days ago in, in real life over here where people, uh, real life, um, in my daily life where 
you know, people don't understand necessarily um, the value you can bring to somebody. And a lot of people will ask in the networking circles, you know, you go to a networking group, like, how can I support you? How can I help you? What can I do for you? And just the framing of that is wrong to me, right? If somebody asks me that, I'm not going to just be like, oh, I really need this, this, and this. I need an extra 10K in revenue a month. Can you give me that? I need more clients. Will you, will you be my client? Will you give me that? A lot of people are really uncomfortable answering that question. And a lot of people don't answer that question very honestly. So what it turns into, and they talk about this all the time, and nobody really acts on is like getting to know a person, having a conversation with them, find out their likes, dislikes, shortcomings, strengths, whatever all of that may be. And at some point you're going to discover, hey, this is something where I can help. And I would love to do this for you in collaboration with you. Um, I can further you this way, right? Not how can I support you and what can I do for you? Because intrinsically, when you ask that, they tell you, yeah, I need an extra 10K in revenue. So you bring that 10K. Now there's a level of indebtedness there, right? Level of expectation, um, from the person receiving is like, oh, they did me a favor in order to do this, this, and this. So now I owe that person, right? But if you step forward and say, hey, I can accomplish this, this, and this. I appreciate this, this, and this about what you're doing. I've done the research on, on your mission, your efforts, everything that's happening. And I want to do this. And you're very specific in that ask, right? that's what a true networking looks like. That's how you really build a great rapport and bring value to somebody is you tell them, this is something that I've recognized. I believe I can add value in whatever it is you're working on in that capacity. Are you willing to give me a shot? And it happens so often that when it's framed that way, and essentially you're value propping, hey, this is what I do. This is what I'm really good at. You're willing to give me a shot and try it out. So many people don't take that approach to it. And it's surprising. And that, but that's exactly what Ben did. And he hit me, hit me up on LinkedIn. Um, obviously, it worked really well. He did his research. I respected that effort, respected that he went through all of that. Um, and, and really, honestly, I had a great conversation with him on, on air and off air. Um, so it was definitely a, a great, great time, great conversation. Um, what's interesting, uh, we, we talked about a little bit of his background, obviously his journey, the things that um, he's gone through overall um, in his journey since COVID, um, kind of where he's seen success and seen struggles. Um, and I, I think a big piece of what we want to talk about this Friday um, is really highlighting how he starts his day off with intentionality, how he starts his morning routine. Um, there are different aspects of that that we were really interested in chopping up together. So I think that's what you're going to see um, this Friday is we're really going to highlight what all of that looks like for him, what all of that looks like for me. Um, we're really going to chop that up to see how we can kind of start our day with that excitement, with that hype. Um, and I talk a lot about morning routines here and there. So it's something that I think will be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to this Friday. So I really encourage y'all think about that aspect of things, how he took that approach, um, what he did to you know grab my attention, which is really fascinating, especially as saturated as this world is with um, people just randomly hitting you up all the freaking time on social media. So um, it's definitely an impressive piece of so many different things that he put together and it's working really well um, for him in, in his endeavors. So definitely check out Monday's episode. Um, it's a great, great conversation. Great to hear how he's done things. And then of course, come back in this Friday, we're going to get a little bit more tactical about how he accomplishes all these different aspects of his business ownership, the balance, the morning routine, we're really going to dive into all of that. So come back this Friday, check it out. Um, think about that value prop that you can bring to somebody and, and help promote them, give them something that they may not have yet. Um, and overall, I hope you'll have a great week. I will catch you all Friday.